Uh, so we're going to get the intro out of the way. Uh, uh, if you have never been to a, a game show stream of mine before, uh, the key thing, if you want to be eligible for the prize at the end, is to follow these instructions right here and allow the quiz kit extension access to your Twitch profile. Uh, that will put you on the leaderboard, and then you will be able to be eligible for the prize at the end. Uh, if you were on mobile, uh, it won't show up here, but there's going to be three little dots that allow you access to the extensions, and you could do it the exact same way just make sure you have access and you don't show up as a contestant in the number because if you do that i have no idea who you are and you will not be eligible for the prize and we'll go to the next person in line if you are uh, on top so today like i mentioned it is going to be a 90s TV, uh, nickelodeon tv shows i grew up in the 90s I loved all these shows. Uh, well, maybe not all of them, but most of them I had a good time with. But we are going to get started here. Who is ready? And here we go. Uh, if you uh, again, if you've never been here before, what's going to happen is this extension is going to put an interactive uh, uh, interface in front of you. King of Peanuts, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for dropping in. Welcome. Uh, and to give an answer, simply click on the answer you wish to have. Uh, you will have 20 seconds to answer the question. At 10 seconds, I will start a, uh, clearing up the image you you see on the screen down here uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to actually answer the question and hopefully uh Squirrel. you will get uh you will get it right and you will gain points if you get it wrong you will lose points so choose carefully think for yourself always good to see you thank you so much for dropping in i appreciate you being here innate gamer also one of our previous champions coming in to reclaim his crown so here we go, everybody. We are going to start the game show. So the f we are going to start the game. The first question is going to come up, and we're going to get on our way. The focus of the... Whoop. Whoops, the focus of this show is a group of toddlers in their day-to-day -day lives, usually involving life experiences that have become greater adventures in the imagination of the main characters. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The first question, the answer is the Rugrats. Rugrats was the answer. I don't know if anybody didn't know the uh, the answer to that question. Rugrats was very popular in uh, the early 90s, I think it was. Let me actually I have I'm going to bring up my Google sheet here because I have all of the answers and their years, which would be nice and informative for all you lovely people here. Let me log in to my craziness. But yes, the answer is Rugrats. Let's see how many people got this one correct. Let's see. Rugrats started in 1991 and ran all the way to 2004. Let's see how everybody did revealing the answer. The answer was Rugrats. And nine people got that correct. Congratulations to everybody. Let's see how well or, or how quickly you guys answered this question uh excellent start to the game show good for all of you here again if you want to participate let me see if this command actually works game show ah it does there we go if you wanted to participate there is the uh there's the instructions and we are going to see how the scores turned out. Let's see, show the scores. Badger Sama moving up into the top spot, followed by Cray Sniper. A close third is contestant 13, 11, and 8. So for those of you who are still marked as a contestant, make sure you follow the instructions that were in chat and also below my webcam so that you can uh, and then refresh the stream. That way you show up as a participant in uh the leaderboard and not as a contestant 
and we and uh, that way you'll be eligible for the prize. Heartbite live streams. Thank you so much for that a follow. I appreciate that, my friend. Good to see you, Salt Fist. Support run. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for those 20 bits. Sweet Mamacita, good to see you. Pepper likes pots. Good to see you as well. Thank you for dropping by. SDT Dark Drag... Dragonos. That took me a second. Welcome to the chat, first time chatter. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. The Flash. Also good to see you as well. Thank you so much for that. Follow the flash. I appreciate you. Jen Jenny Moore. Good to see you as well. Pepper likes pots. We are doing everybody. We are doing a game show today of the nineties, a Nickelodeon TV shows. You have all joined just in time because we are doing, that was the first question. So you have 27 more questions to keep going. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you for the support run, the Koopa troop. I appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you all for the follows. That is uh, the flash. I think I said you already S Sades of Tamriel. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. And first time chatter. I see you. Thanks for tuning in. This is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Next question, everybody. Are you ready? Are you ready for the next question? All right. Here we go. Next question. Let me get this, uh, this all set up right here. There we go. The show centers around a fourth grader with an unusually shaped head who gives his grandparents, who lives with his grandparents in an inner city sentiment of Hillwood, Washington. You have 10 seconds. Oops. All right, everybody, there you go. That is Hey Arnold is the name of that show. If you, uh, I don't know how many people remember that show, but I watched that show a lot. Mark Fatherlocks, thank you so much for that first time chat. I see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's Keo Cat. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome into the stream. It's good to see you. Koopa Troop. Yes, sir. Just learned something new about that show. Didn't know it was in Washington. You know, I learned that too, Badger. I did not actually know that either. So let's see. Reveal the answers to you guys. Thank you to my lovely wife for bringing me a smoothie. Mmm. Strawberry banana chat. Very good. Amy, good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping in. Killer Gaming, of course you can play. Just follow the instructions below my webcam. Or just follow the instructions right here in the chat to allow yourself access to the quiz kit extension everybody got that answer right by the way congratulations everybody and then you will be placed on the leaderboard and you will be eligible for the prize at the end let's see how everybody did rotini guy came in hot sneaking in at the end there rotini guy now has 37,000 points, followed by Badger Sama, Craze Sniper, Think for Yourself in fourth, and PGL Metal rounding up fifth place. Congratulations, and thank you for playing, everybody, by the way. Good to see each and every one of you. All right. Who is ready for the next question? Let's go. Next question. Ooh, let's line this up first. There we go. Next question. Boom. You have 20 seconds, chat. This game show features a fictitious temple filled with lost treasures protected by mysterious Mayan temple guards. You have 10 seconds, chat. There it is, chat. The answer to this question was... The Legends of the Hidden Temple, one of my favorite TV uh, game shows on Nickelodeon ever, honestly. It was fantastic. Koopa D-Gen, thank you so much for popping in and for giving me the quack. Blue Barracudas for life, you know it's Saltfish. Fist, I called you Saltfish again, I'm so sorry. Saltfist, the question didn't pop up for you? I'm. S oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, think for yourself. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why it would do that. Um... That probably has all everything to do with the extension, so I apologize for that. 
All right. Nine people got it correct. Congratulations, everybody. Somebody put double dare. Not quite. For informational purposes, everybody, Legends of the Hidden Temple started in 1993 and only ran for two years to 1995. Let's see how the score... Oh, it's still compiling the scores. It's good to see everybody in here. Thank you so much for hanging out. That's okay. I have to make lunch anyway, so I'll root, root the others on. All right. Think for yourself. Appreciate that. All right. Showing the scores. Let's see how it turns out. Badger-sama has pulled into the lead, although very slightly over Crate's Sniper, followed by PGL Metal, Cap Gory Go-Ops, and Rotini Guy has shifted down into fifth place. Here we go. Let's set up the next visual while the extension goes on. There we go. All right. Blue Barracudas, Silver Snakes, Purple Parrots, and the... Shoot. <laughs> the Wasn't it like they're the Orange Monkeys or something like that? Red Jaguars can suck. <laughs> All right, everybody, focus up. Next question, here it comes. This series portrays an American family of wildlife documentary filmmakers. I'm excited to have you here, Koopa DJ, and thanks for being here. Storm Chappie, good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Oops, here it comes. Oh, one second, Bambi K, you hit me in a really awkward spot. Give me a second. All right, everybody, the answer to that question was the wild thornberries. Thank you so much. For that raid, B Bambi K, thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. You have caught us in the middle of our one of our bi-weekly game shows. We are going over 90s Nickelodeon TV shows. It's good to see you, uh, uh, Dom. How are you doing today? Merc Father Locks, thank you so much for that follow. Uh, how was your stream today, uh, Dom? I'm going to give you a shout-out. Fellow Koopa Choop member, by the way, everybody, if nobody is aware. Give me a hell yeah! What? What? That was a big raid. Thank you so much for that raid, everybody. It was good. I streamed Overwatch, Valorant, and then ended with some Bioshock. That sounds like a very eventful stream. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate you, and I appreciate every single one of the people you have brought here. If anybody that's here wants to participate in our game show today, um, you can follow the instructions down below with the big arrow below my webcam, or you can follow the uh, instructions in the chat uh, to make yourself eligible to um, uh, receive the prize at the end. Uh, it will allow you to answer the questions that show up on the screen here. In fact, let me keep this going. Reveal answer. The answer was the wild thornberries for this one. And almost everybody got it correct. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. And then there will be a prize for the winner at the end. So you will only be eligible for that prize if you uh, allow the quiz kit extension to be uh to access to your twitch uh, uh account thank you everybody for being here and we will continue the game show as once the quiz kit goes through here we go all right everybody the leaderboard now is as it stands badger sama has pulled into a very slight lead over crazed sniper pgl metal holding up the third place spot followed by cap gory go ops and innate gamer Thank you so... Uh, right. There we go. For informational purposes, everybody, the Wild Thornberry started in 1998 and ran to 2004. Good to see everybody in chat. Hope everyone has a great day. I hope you're having a great day, Merc Father Locks. Thank you so much for being here. Nice to meet you, too. Yes. Here we go. Banish some of me and Craze neck and neck. Yes, you guys are very close. So let's see. Next question, everybody. Oh, oh. I messed this up, but here it comes. Nope, stop. Okay, I messed up this question. You guys should get this one right, because I messed this up. But there you go. This spinoff show of all that... Was it led to the uh, show... Or... 
This was, oh gosh, okay. Things have gone out of control. I apologize, everybody, because this... I have too many buttons to press. <laughs> A bit too easy, don't you think? I know, Heartbite. <laughs> I messed that one up a little bit. Press the button. All right, so I didn't even get a chance to read the question, but the question is, this is a spinoff show of all that. The lead of the show quit acting after the show ended, eventually having a drug-induced mental breakdown. All right, revealing the answer. You all should have gotten this correct. I don't know who put my brother in me, but you guys all got this one correct. Bring on the giant dancing lobsters. Yes, I wasn't ready. Oh, no, great snipe. I'm sorry. Yes, so I pressed one too many buttons in that particular question, so everything kind of went out of whack. So that, consider that a freebie for you guys. Uh, let me get this lined up correctly. There we go. All right. So let's see how you guys did on the scores for this one. Badger Sama is still in the lead, followed by Crazed Sniper. Still, Capgory Go Ups still in third place, followed by Innate Gamer and Eat Your Face in fifth place. All right, everybody. Thanks for dropping in. Who did that? Dr. Snow loves GD Nugs. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. It's good to see you here. How was your stream, Dr. Snow? Let me give you a nice big shout out for that raid. Thank you so much. Give me a hell yeah. What? What? Thank you so much for that raid. And welcome in, raiders. We Squirrel. are... Squirrel! We are playing a game show today. If you would like to if you would like to participate. Oh, Wild Bear Man, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome in. If you would like to participate in the show, you could follow the instructions down below, or you could follow the instructions in the chat to make yourself eligible for the prize at the end. Uh if you're just playing for fun, you don't need to do that. But if you want to be eligible for the prize, hello there. Hello, Madman. Thank you so much for those five bits for the hello there. Good to see you, Madman. Thanks for dropping in. All right, we're gonna go to the next question, everybody. You ready? Here it comes. This show featured two main characters from all that that won favorite TV show at the 1998 Kids Choice Awards. You have 15 seconds. There you go, everybody. The answer to this one was Keenan and Kel. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> there it is, everybody. There, Keenan and Kel. For informational purposes, Keenan and Kel ran from 1996 to 2000. Let's see how everybody did. Where's my extension? There it is. Let's reveal the answer to everybody. It is indeed Keenan and Kel. Nine people got that one correct. A few people were, fo were fooled by the adventures of Pete and Pete, which was also an amazing show. You want fries with that? That's right. Whenever someone challenges me on d dude being a gender net neutral term, I cite Good Burger. True. Hey, Yosef. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping by. All right. Let's see how oh, this goes. It's not going. There it goes. All right, let's see how the scores turned out on this one. Crazed Sniper has pulled into a large lead over Badger Sama. Uh, Eat Your Face has pulled into third place, followed by PGL Sniper. And Kiara Keeks has jumped into the top five. Congratulations, everybody. Those of you who are still uh, identified as contestant, if you want to be eligible for the prize at the end, you simply need to follow the instructions instructions below and you will be and i think you have to refresh the stream not quite sure but uh yes let's get this all set up for the next question boop here we go next question everybody you ready here it comes this show features a teenager who breaks the fourth wall to explain the things that are happening in their adolescent life this one might be a little bit tougher you have 10 seconds. It's going good, Yosef. All 
All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to the question was Clarissa Explains It All, which ran from 1991 to 1994. Really love the simplicity of your stream. Thank you, Merc Father Locks. I appreciate you saying that. We are having a good time with our game show. We have a we, we have a game show bi-weekly, so every two weeks. Uh, the other Sunday that is not a game show is uh, is a spooky video reaction, which will be next week. And uh, yeah, we love our weekends. Weekends are always a good time over here in the nut house. All right, let's reveal the answer to you guys. The answer is Clarissa explains it all. That was of no surprise to 10 of everybody. Uh, also, the images I'm giving you have the name of the show, so it shouldn't be all that hard. I won't touch this show. I almost had none of this in my country. Oh, that's true, uh, Ghost. I, I can't. This is probably going to be more of a North American thing. Maybe some of the UK, but not um, probably not where you are. All right, let's show the scores and see how everybody did. Crazy Sniper still in the lead. Badger Sama made a surge back into um, back up, followed very closely by Eat Your Face. Innate Gamer and Contestant 19. By the way, Contestant 19, just make sure that you follow the instructions either in the chat or down below my um, my webcam so that you are no longer known as Contestant 19, but by your real name. You may have to refresh the stream, and I hope that doesn't lose all your points by doing so. Hey, Davnot, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for dropping by. First time chatter. I see you. All right, everybody. Next question. Here we go. This horror show was Nickelodeon's answer to the Twilight Zone and Tales from the Crypt. You have 10 seconds. There you go, everybody. The answer to the question was, are you afraid of the dark? Probably one of my favorite shows of my childhood. Uh-oh, Sweet Mamacita. Doesn't sound like you got that one correct. It won't let you answer. I'm sorry, Killer Gaming. I uh, I don't know how I don't know how to fix that for you, bro. I suck. No, Kier, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cray Sniper sounds like you got it right. Innate Gamer also. Badger Sama doesn't sound too happy. Dark Prince. Yes, best show as a kid. I agree. Great show. Let's reveal the answer to you guys. The answer was, are you afraid of the dark? Ooh. I fooled some people with the Goosebumps. Goosebumps was not actually a Nickelodeon show. It was a WB show. So I got you guys with that one. Also, I think Goosebumps was not in the 90s. I think it was actually in the 2000s. So there we go. We're going to set up the image for the next uh, question. And then we're going to pull up the leaderboard. So that one is what we call a leaderboard swing. Sorry for you guys who got the uh, the six wrong answers. Let's see how much we have swung. Crazy Sniper still surging into the lead, followed by Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer, a Badger Sama, and Contestant 19. Oh. No, nut. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for those 50 bits to hit me with the nut barrage, Pepper Likes Pots. I appreciate that. King of the Peanuts also seems to be playing golf and has hit the negatives with negative 17,000 points. All right, everybody. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Good to see you, Yosef. Thank you so much. Next question, everybody. The main character of this show was a sex phone operator. This show was for children, by the way, Chan. There you go, everybody. The answer to this question was... Rocco's Modern Life. He was indeed a 900 number operator. 
which is very shocking. Yes, this was a this was a kids show. One of my favorite shows. Absolutely, great show. It was super fun to watch. Back when nobody cared and uh, you couldn't cancel culture uh, cartoon shows. Let's reveal the answer for you guys. It is Rocco's Modern Life. You guys uh, got that one mostly correct. Three people were fooled by the Ren and Stimpy show. By the way, everybody, Rocco's Modern Life ran from 1993 to 1996. It was a three-year show, but that was a fantastic three years. I believe it also syndicated, so it didn't really matter when it ended. Ink Link, thank you so much for the wave. Welcome into the stream. You yourself can also participate in the show if you like. Uh, I was doing so well at the beginning, and now it's going very downhill. Oh no, Kiara. That's all right. There are plenty of questions left. You could definitely surge your way back up into the leaderboard. But let's see how the scores are going. Craze Sniper is now in a commanding, although not humongous, lead over Icho Face. In fact, I believe you two are playing together, so congratulations. Uh, you guys now have two of the top spots. Merle Squaster, Gatmote, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping it. That would be cheating. You don't know the answer. You didn't see my list of answers to these questions, did you, Inkling? Innate, followed by Innate Gamer, Badger Sama, and Koopa Degen following, following up in fifth place. She's on mobile? Okay. <laughs> Madman, thank you so much for those 20 bits. It's always good to see you, my friend. Thank you for dropping in. All right, everybody, let's move this over to the next visual and then go to the next question. You probably all will get this one by the visual, but let's see. The next question is, this show started in 1998 and the two main characters are conjoined brothers of different species. In a gamer, thank you so much for those hundred bits. That is very kind of you. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. The answer to this question was cat dog. The conjoined brothers of a different species was cat dog. All of the classics right here. That's right. These are going to be all classics to those of us who grew up in the 90s. One of my favorites. Yes, this show was a, a fantastic show. I had to guess I've never seen these. Oh, okay. Well... Uh, most of these images, uh, uh, Madman, have the name of the show on them. So if you just wait long enough for the visual, you should be able to at least get a few points. Can't play on phone? Yes, you should still be able to play on phone. All right, let's reveal the answer to this one. I fooled no one. Congratulations, everybody. N nobody was fooled by this answer. 14 people grabbed cat dog. That is good for informational purposes. Cat dog started in 1998 and ran to 2005. That is a long show, honestly, by, by Nickelodeon t uh, standards. Let's move this over to the next one. Here we go. Let's show the scores. Let's see how everybody is doing. Cray Sniper is still in the lead, followed by his counterpart, Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer in third place. Badger Sama has moved himself back up into fourth place. Koopa DJ holds steady at fifth place. Good to see you all here. I'm so dumb. No, Dr. L Dr. Snow loves GD Nugs. Well, nobody got that one actually wrong, so you're not that dumb. Even if you don't answer, it's not that bad. All right, next question, everybody. Here it comes. This show was a game show in which large teams, usually consisting entirely of children, participated in head-to-head -head physical challenges. This one might be crazy. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question was wild and crazy kids. Very, very old game show, which ran from 1990 to 1992. Oops, never seen that. Yeah, this was a tricky one. Kind of gave a clue when it said this one might be crazy. I didn't do it on purpose, though, so...
<laughs> hey, King Angel, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping in. It's always good to see you here. Thanks for dropping in. If you want to participate in the game show, you know what to do, my friend. You've got the instructions down below here and the instructions here in chat. And to be eligible for a prize. Let's see how the uh, the answer comes out is wild and crazy kids. Ooh, we had a big leaderboard swing. Here it comes. Let's see how everybody did on that giant swing. We got half of the people answered incorrectly on Double Dare, which is also a fairly old game show. Happy Sunday to you too, my friend, and happy 4th of July. Well, it's not actually 4th, it's 3rd, but happy 4th of July anyway. Let's show the scores and see how it's turning out. Crazed Sniper still in the lead, followed by Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer, Badger Sama, and Koopa Degen. The Flash slowly moving up the leaderboard. Cap Gory as well, slowly moving up. King of the Peanuts holding steady down in the bottom. Pepper Like Pots has finally moved herself outside of the negative. Let's move this over to the next question here. There we go. And next question, everybody. Here it comes. The seri this series revolves around two young brothers who have moved out of their parents' home to become bachelors. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question was the Angry Beavers. Probably the number one show for me uh, as a kid. This was my absolute favorite show. Started in 1997 and ran over to 2001. Squirrel! Squirrel! Good to see you, Reaper Man. Thank you so much for dropping by. Happy to see you here. Angry Beavers was an amazing show. Squirrel. Let's reveal the answer to you guys. Squirrel! I feel so slow. I don't. I didn't look at the picture. Oh no! Oh, here he goes. Another big swing in the leaderboard. Let's see how everybody did on that one as we move forward into the next question. Afternoon to you as well, Scotty Muse. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for that squirrel wave. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. If you want to participate in the game show, you can follow the instructions down below, or you can follow the instructions that are about to show up in chat. How's everything going? It's going fantastic. Got lots of awesome people here playing a game show with us today. Next, uh, we're going to go to the uh, scores here and see how we're doing. Dark Prince got that one really quick. Crazy Sniper. Still in a commanding lead over Innate Gaber, who's moved up into second place over Icho Face. Cat Gori has also moved up into the leaderboard into fourth, and Badger Sama has shifted downward slightly into fifth place. That's awesome. I'm going to leave you a lurk up. All right, Scotty Muse. Thank you so much for that lurk. I appreciate that, my friend. All right, everybody. Whoop, where'd my extension go? Next question. Amy, thank you for those hundred bits. This show is a game show in which two two teams answered trivia and completed in physical challenges. This show is also the first show to incorporate slime. You have ten seconds. Shouldn't be that hard at this point. <laughs> All right, everybody, there you go. The answer to this one was Double Dare. One of, I think, the oldest TV shows that went... The, yes, one of the oldest game shows on Nickelodeon, which started in 1986 and ended in 1993. So just so everybody knows that uh, there are a couple shows on this uh, game show that ended in 1990s, not just started. 
So there's a little trick. So this is one of them. It ended in, it started in 1986 and ended in 1993. The answer, of course, is Double Dare. I fooled barely anybody. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. Oh, one of your favorite shows? Yes. Double Dare was very fun. It's always good fun as a kid to watch people just get covered in green slime. You got that one slow? Oh, all right. Well, maybe it, uh, I'm going to lurk, have some raids in Final Fantasy. All right, Intropo Ghost, thank you so much for dropping in. Always appreciated and always good to see you. All right. Let's see how the scores go. Crazed Sniper is still in the lead, followed by Eat Your Face, who has taken her second place spot away from Innate Gamer in that epic battle of second place, followed by Dark Prince and Capgory Co-Ops. Double Dare 200 is mine. <laughs> All right, let's move this over into the next question. There we go. May not be able to get this one from the picture, but here comes the next question. This show focuses on the early life of the main character with a funny name. His experience commonly predict his experiences are common predicaments while attending school in the new hometown of Bluffington. You have 10 seconds. There it is, everybody. The answer to the question was Doug. The clue to this question was in the... Uh, the clue to the answer was in the question. You'll notice how I spelled funny wrong. The name's character's last name was funny. Doug funny. That was the clue. So, yes, the answer was Doug, which ants, which uh, ran from 1991 to 1994. Here we go. We will reveal the answer. Most of you got that correct. I did not fool very many people with that. Congratulations to all of you who got that correct. Reaver Gameplays, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping in. Always good to see you. All right, let's, uh, no audio, but I'm here. All right, SJ Freak, thanks for being here. I will type that out to you. I'm going downhill. Oh, no, PGL Metal. You, you probably weren't old enough for most of these shows, PGL, so no one's blaming you. Let's show the scores here. Crazy Sniper is still in the lead, followed by Eat Your Face. You two are now neck and neck for first place, followed by Innate Gamer, who is very slightly behind. The Flash has moved up into fourth place, and Badger Sama has moved down into fifth. All right, good job, everybody. This is actually going to be a really close game. Here it comes. The next question. Oh, not yet. It's not done. Now, some of the cartoons I'm getting, but the TV shows I'm not. Ah, I see. Here we go, everybody. Next question. This sketch TV show was Nickelodeon's answer to Saturday Night Live. Here it comes, chat. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there you go. The answer to this one was All That. All That was a sketch show, which was Nickelodeon's attempt at making a youth-centered Saturday Night Live type show. It ran from 1994 to 19... Or, I'm sorry, 2005. Let's see how everybody did. Let's look at the... Let's see how everybody did here. Uh-oh. Doesn't want to talk about it. 12 people. I did not fool anybody. Congratulations, everybody. That is a great turnout there. Somebody answered Wienerville. I can only assume they, they just didn't know what the answer was <laughs> and waited till the end. All right, we're going to show the scores now. I put Oswald. Oh, no. 
Here we go. Crazed Sniper is still in the lead, very slightly over Eat Your Face. Innate Gamer, Dark Prince, and Cap Gory, Cap Gory Co-Ops has moved up into fifth place. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. We're going to move, get this visual set up here. There we go. And then we are going to move on to the next question. When the quiz kit extension decides to move on. I hope you all are having a great time. Did you win? Are you winning, son? Surprisingly, think you are still in 15th place, even though you're not answering any questions. So <laughs> you, you are indeed winning. All right, next question. Here you go, everybody. Here it comes. This show focuses on three young monsters who attended school for monsters under the city dump to end learn to learn about frightening humans. You have 10 seconds. Here it is, everybody. The answer to this question was, ah, real monsters. So also one of my favorites. My favorite character was Crumb, who is essentially a monster who has to hold his eyes in his hands. And as a kid, I thought that was hilarious. Yet another fave. I'm in a time machine. I'm glad I could take you back to better times in 8Gamer. Here we go. Let's reveal the answer. I fooled nobody on that one. Congratulations, everybody, to that one. I probably could have put some more uh, difficult answers on that one, but oh well. Can't do anything about it now. We're in the middle of a game show. All right. So we're going to move on here. Let's get this. Yep. There we go. We're going to show the scores. Cray Sniper and Eat Your Face are still in the first two spots, followed by an eight gamer, Dark Prince, and Cap Gory Co-ops co -ops holding his spot in the fifth position. Here we go, everybody. The next question is coming up shortly. Awesome show. Yes. Who did that? Ash Shriver 27 thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for that raid, Ash. How was your stream? First off, Give big shout out. What? What? Thank you so much for that raid, Ash Shriver. It's good to see you. Did you get any dubs in Warzone today? Tawny, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping in. Good to see you all. If you all want to participate in the game show, you can follow the instructions here in chat or below my webcam, either way, to be eligible for the prize at the end. We are just over ha just over halfway complete with the game show. So there are plenty of questions left. Two dubs and a high kill game. Nice, Ash. Good job. If anybody doesn't uh, has, is not already following Ash River twenty seven, go give her a follow from the shout out, and we are going to continue our game show. Hope you guys will join us. Next question. Here we go. Here we go. This show is about two liked name brothers. Originally started as a one minute long short. Alright everybody, the answer to this question was the adventures of Pete and Pete. This show was originally, uh, oh, this though, for those of you who are just joining us, the topic of today's game show is 90s Nickelodeon's TV shows. So, uh, this show actually originally started as uh, one minute shorts uh, in, in between commercials, and then it became so popular that they created an entire TV show around it, which started around 
see if we can find it 1992 and ran to 1996 let's see how everybody did on this one Ooh, most of you were certain of what the answer was but some of you did not congratulations to those of you who got that correct we are compiling now your successes and failures and we will bring it up quite soon I messed that one up. Oh no, sweet mamacita messed that one up. Not good. Let's see where it puts you on leaderboard. So where, let's see, showing the scores. And hey gamer, thank you so much for those 65 bits. I appreciate that, my, my friend. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate that you did. I see you got the bat wing hanging up now. I do, in fact, yes. <laughs> that uh that didn't go well everybody so let's there we go it is right there nope that's a poster right there all right let's move myself back up here Boop. all right everybody let's get set up for the next question there it is ma we must review the scores. Crazed Sniper is in a humongous lead over uh, Icho Face. Actually, not in a humongous lead over Icho Face, but kind of over most everyone else. Icho Face in second place. Innate Gamer in third place. Dark Prince in fourth. And Capgory Co-ops holding strong in fifth place. Kiera Keeks is surging up the leaderboard and is now cresting on the heels of Capgory Co-ops for fifth Want to trade scores, crazed? Yep. Yeah. All right, everybody, here he goes. Next question. This show's main character was doused in an experimental substance in an accident and was given strange powers. Just like every single comic book character in history. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there you go. The answer to the question was the secret world of Alex Mack. A little bit of a lesser known show, but I do remember watching it. And it was sort of an interesting kind of play on X-Men. Sort of, I don't know, I'm a mutant, but I'm learning type of deal uh, type of show. Was entertaining watch between the years of 1994 and... And 1998. Super slow on that one. That's all right. As long as you got the right answer, that you still gain points. Let's reveal the answer. Ooh, some people did not get that one correct. Let's see if this swings the leaderboard in any way, shape, or form. While we wait for the extension, we will jump here. King Angel Plays, thank you so much for those 100 bits. Thank you so much. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate that you did. Innate Gamer points to himself and says, some people. Oh, no. Let's see how that swings the leaderboard. Crazy Sniper is still in the lead, followed by Icho Face. Innate Gamer, it did not affect you too much. You are still in third, followed by Capgory Co-Ops, who has moved up into fourth place. And Dark Prince, who has taken his place in fifth Good job, everybody. You got to bounce. All right, Cap Gory. Thank you so much for playing all along with us. I hope you have a good Sunday. And if I don't talk to you again, we will see you next time. And also, if I don't talk to you tomorrow, have a wonderful 4th of July. All right, everybody. We will move on to the next question. This show was focused around the life of young campers at a fictional camp called Camp Awana. Cap Gory, thank you so much for those uh, squirrel, Doug. There you go, everybody. The answer to the question was salute your shorts the 
show, which ran for, I think, two seasons from 1991 to 1993, was a very interesting show. As you could tell from the image here, I could not find a more, de uh, what do you call it, a higher quality image uh, for, for the show. It was, um, it's quite old. I fooled nobody. Congratulations, everybody who got that one. You didn't see that show? Yeah, that was, uh, that was an older show. Uh, 1993 to 1995. It was just, uh, you know, one of those shows where it's just a group of young campers and the adventures of people at camp. All right, let's show the scores and see how we're doing. Crazy Sniper, still in the lead, kind of running away with it. Followed by Icho Face and Eight Gamer Dark Prince and Cap Cory Capigori Co-ops. Let us move on to the next question. Here we go. Get a good visual on that one until the question comes up. Here it comes. This show has been heralded as the most controversial kids show on Nickelodeon history for its dark humor. You have 10 seconds. There you go, everybody. The answer to the show is, of course, Ren and Stimpy. The probably one of the most controversial shows to ever have been shown to children on a children's network. Uh, it ran from 1991 to 1996, so it was quite popular, but not with the parents. Why did I pick Invader Zim? I don't know, because that is actually not a 1990s Nickelodeon show. That show started, I think, in 2001? Something like that. Mad that was so damn slow on that question, yeah? Why did I... <laughs> Looking back, we should never have seen that as kids. 100% correct. That show was very, very adult centric but congratulations to the nine people who got that one correct four people were fooled by invader zim invader zim is a 2000s show not a 90s show so let's see here there's the next question and we will move up here while we wait for the extension to compile itself while i sip my smoothie All right, Crazy Sniper is in the lead. Eat your face, followed by Innate Gamer Dark Prince. Capgory Co-Ops is still in fifth, even though he is not currently here anymore. Still got a little bit, little bit to go. We are about three quarters of the way through the questions, so it is still anybody's game if somebody gets the answer some uh, incorrect too many times we could see a big swing in the leaderboard so it is anybody's game next question here we go this game show features a panel of nickelodeon celebrities trying to figure out talents of contestants you have 10 seconds All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this show is figure it out. The show was originally hosted by Summer Sanders and was started in 1997 and ran all the way until 2013. A little bit of a side note, a little bit of squirrel facts. I actually applied to be on this show and was not chosen, unfortunately. <laughs> Crazy Sniper is confident that he has gotten this answer correct, but let's see how many people have followed suit with him. 
practically everybody. Good job, everybody. I did not fool you at all with this game show. This was a fun show because it also, if uh, if uh, any of the Nickelodeon celebrities got it wrong, they got slimed, and it was always really fun to watch. Squirrel, wait, why are my things not showing up? Are my squirrels not showing up? Oh, no. Hold on. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. I'll be back. Just a second. There we go. Let's try that again. There he is. Okay. My fault for anybody who's been redeeming and not getting any, uh, uh, any of those redemptions back. Let me get back on my stream. I think I closed it. I should still be logged in. Yes, I am. Okay. Let's go to creator dashboard. Let me see if I can refund some of your guys's points, uh, because that is not fair. Let's see. Where's manage re points all right i am going to select all can i select all is there a thing for that all right well i'm just going to redeem everybody's point because i like the interaction so here you go all of these points are now re uh sent back to you apologize everybody for that i didn't realize that the Things were not, they haven't been for the whole game. Okay, so I've, uh, I've redeemed, I've given everybody their points back. Uh, so you, you guys should now be able to see Squirrel Wave and Squirrel Doug. Let's see if it comes back. There he is. Squirrel. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's see, take a look at the scores. Let's not digress to uh, any farther than we have. Crazy Sniper, still in the lead, followed Squirrel. by Eat Your Face Squirrel. Squirrel. Reaper Man, good to see you. Gatmote, thank you so much for those 10 bits. Innate Gamer in third place, Dark Prince is in fourth. Kiera has oh, yeah. surged back up into the, uh, into the uh, f uh, top five. Congratulations, Kiera. Let's see. Let's get this on to the next question. Sorry for that digression, everybody. Uh, but I would like you guys to have the interactions of the stream. So there you go. Next question, though. Here we go. We continue. This show is a TV adaptation of a book series where kids are able to turn into animals. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to the question is Animorphs. The Animorphs was originally a book series, which is very popular back in the 90s. They made a TV adaptation, adaptation of it, which was okay. I just thought you couldn't have had a moment during the game or also would have said something sooner. No, no, it's uh, so what happens is the the third party program I have that allows those things to run across the screen. If I open my streaming software before it, I have to refresh and I didn't refresh before the stream started. So that was my fault. Damn, I'm old. Yeah, I know, Reaper Man. Me too. Ah, Inklink actually read the book series. You love the ball, and Nate Gamer did as well. I did. I just saw the show. I didn't read the uh, didn't read the book series. Kind of like uh, kind of like the Lord of the Rings for me too. I did not read the books. I read. I watched the movies. So Animorphs. I didn't fool anybody with that one. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. We all so old. I <laughs> yeah. I I know, sweet mama Sita. I'm old too. I read so many of those books. Nice, Flash. Nice. So we're compiling the next, uh, all of the uh, point values. And we're going to show the scores. Right now, we've got Crazed Sniper, who's still in the lead. Pretty commanding lead, actually, over each your face, followed by Innate Gamer, Dark Prince, and Sweet Mamacita, who has taken the fifth place spot over Kier Keeks, who is now in sixth. Pancuda 
It's good to see that you're here lurking in the background with your negative 10,000 points. <laughs> good to see you as always. Next question. This show is designed as an early childhood education show featuring animation and live action. The show became the highest rated show for preschoolers on American commercial television. You have 10 seconds. There we go, everybody. The answer to this question was Blue's Clues. I had this one memorized by our not so little one now. I know, yeah. She loved this show very much. Yes, Reaper Man. So let's try to keep the answers not in chat. We, if you want to participate, you can always. I'm pretty sure you've been here for a game show uh, stream. You can. Uh, Right. You, you are to pick the answer from the extension on the stream. No biggie, Reaper Man. It's all right. Are you over 300,000 crazed? Oh, my goodness. This should be interesting. I did not fool anybody, though, with this one. Blue's Clues was the answer. In fact, Blue's Clues also ran from 1996 to 2006. So it actually ran for 10 years. That is a good, good show by you know today's standards no problem reaper man no problem my friend all right let's see how the scores are let's see if crazy sniper is telling the truth he is telling the truth he has crested the 300,000 mark and is still in first place followed by eat your face innate gamer dark prince Sweet Mamacita in fifth place. All right. Congratulations, everybody. We are good. Okay, how's this work? All right, so Reaper Man, I'll tell you what. There's a command I've got right here in chat. You'll see right here. Amy, thank you so much for those hundred bits. That is very kind of you. You do not have to do that. But I'm glad that you did. Uh, I put some instructions here in chat for you, uh, Reaper Man. If you follow those instructions, you did that. Okay, so what's going to happen is the next question. There's going to be a big um, uh, user interface that shows up in front of you. And you literally just click the answer on the stream of which one you want to select. Uh, if it doesn't work for you for the next question, I would suggest refreshing the stream. Good to see you, Amy. Thank you so much for those bits. Always good to see you. Innate Gamer, thank you so much for those 100 bits. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Next question. Here we go. This show is the longest running Nickelodeon show and has won a variety of awards, making it the most successful show on Nickelodeon ever. You have 10 seconds. There it is, everybody. The answer to the question is SpongeBob SquarePants, which had which started in 1999 and is still running. This show is by far the most popular and most acclaimed show ever on Nickelodeon. Are you ready, kids? That's right. Here we go. SpongeBob SquarePants. Good job, everybody. I did not fool any most of you. <laughs> yeah, everybody should know that one, right? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's right. There it is, everybody. SpongeBob SquarePants is the answer to that question. We are compiling all of the scores. Okay, it looks like it works now. Awesome, Reaper Man. I am glad you are now able to participate. Let's show the scores. Eat your face got that one really fast. Still not fast enough to catch up to Crazed Sniper, who is still in a very commanding lead, followed by Innate Gamer Dark Prince, 
and Sweet Mamacita still battling it out with Kiera Keeks for fifth place. I think it was Fairly Odd Opponents that, that recently ended. I believe you are correct, Pancuda. Yes. All right, everybody. Next question. This show is the only Western-based TV show to be aired on Nickelodeon. The only Western show on Nickelodeon. Reaver gameplays with the wave. All right, everybody. The answer to the question is, of course, hey, dude. I just wanted to say it like Bowser for one one said, hey, dude, is the answer to that question. The only Western based TV series that aired on Nickelodeon. It aired f my fault. It aired from 1989 to 1991. A very short stint on Nickelodeon. Let's see how everybody did. Very good. Most everybody got that one correct. Congratulations to all of the lovely people in chat participating in our game show. I loved Hey Dude. Hey Dude was pretty good. I thought it was an interesting show. Uh, it sort of had the same feel of salute your shorts, just a different sort of dynamic. But 10 people got that one correct. Good job, everybody. We are going to now move to the scores. Crazed Sniper, still in a very commanding lead. Eat Your Face actually did not answer that one quite as quickly. Innate Gamer is still holding up that third place spot, followed by a Dark Prince and a Sweet Mamacita. Awesome job, everybody. You guys seem to be knowing your 90s TV shows. That is quite awesome. It's good to see you there. Reaper Man, unfortunately, is now down... In 24th place, it's negative 14,000. <laughs> but can you catch King of the Peanuts, who has negative 17? All right, everybody. You ready for the next one? Here it comes. This show was Nickelodeon's answer to Pee Wee's Playhouse. This show was the answer to Pee Wee's Playhouse. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody. The answer to this one was Wienerville. The answer to Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse was Wienerville. Very lesser known show on Nickelodeon was not particularly popular. Ran from 1993 to 1995. Well, I got this one wrong. Uh-oh. We've got a few people who are not particularly happy with their answers. I guessed. Uh-oh. So here we go, then. Let's see how it goes. Eight people got that one correctly. Four people did not, unfortunately, get that one correct. But eight is enough to get a positive sound bite. Good job, everybody. Well, uh, we are waiting now for the scores to compile. We will move on to the next visual. There we go. And here we go. I thought it was that, but then I thought castle. Oh, no. Here it comes. The answer to this question. Ooh, a lot of people got this uh, got this one right. Kit Craze Sniper played the strategy uh, strategy card and waited towards the end to answer the question. That is very good strategy, especially with that big of a lead. Followed by Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer, Dark Prince, Kiera has taken over the fifth place a spot over Sweet Mamacita. All right, everybody, here we go. Next question. The two main characters of this show were Alfie and Dee Dee. The two main characters of this show were Alfie and Dee Dee. 
You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question was my brother and me. Needing, I think, Dexter's Lab. Ah, yeah. Now, that is not, that is not a 1990s TV, uh, Nickelodeon show, Pancuda. But there we go. The answer to that question was my brother and me. 12 people got that one correct. Good job, everybody. Good to see that you know your characters' names. Or I may or may not have given you the answer in the image. <laughs> It was really hard to find images that did not have the, like, the, what do you call it, the, uh, show names on them. I don't think I actually found one. It was kind of crazy. But, uh, yes, My Brother and Me was a show that ran from 1994 to 1995. was not particularly po popular, um, but it was there. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's see how the scores have turned out. Actually, let's move this over here first. Show scores. Let's see how we are doing here on this one. Crazy Sniper still in the lead, followed by Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer, Dr. Prince, Dr. Dr. Prince, Dark Prince, <laughs> my bad, and Kiara Keeks. And top rounding out the top five everybody this is now the last question of the game show we are coming in on the end of the show so here it comes get your big questions out you may have to work a little harder to get this one cray sniper might might not even have to answer to get this one in the bag but let's see final question of name that show 90s nick edition here you go this show was Nickelodeon's answer to the Muppets. This show was Nickelodeon's answer to the Muppets. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question was Eureka's Castle. Eureka's Castle was the answer to the Muppets. Nickelodeon wanted their own version of a puppet-based TV show. You missed the guess. Uh-oh. And this is what they came up with. Let's see how everybody did. Ooh, a big swing in people may have gotten this one wrong. But let's see if it swings the leaderboard in anybody's favor or did crazed sniper run away with the whole thing. We will find out in just a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> big ho oh, yeah coming in from Madman. Good to see you my friend. All right. Final results, everybody. Boom. There it is. Crazed. Sniper has taken another one of the game shows. It's been a while. He won the first one. He has now won the fourth one. Congratulations, K Crazed Sniper, followed by Eat Your Face, Innate Gamer, a Dark Prince, Kiera, The Flash, Sweet Mamacita. <laughs> <laughs> you actually moved me down into the bottom right corner with that one. Nice. Let me move myself back up. Whoop. Sweet Mamacita, Killer Gaming, Category Co-Ops, Koopa D-Gen, rounding out the top 10. Thank you, everybody, for playing Name That Show. Yeah.